Hi guys, so today I'm going to be telling you about my acne story, what I've done in the past, how I went on Accutane, how it cleared my skin, side effects, products I was using, and then just me ranting in general. So please stay tuned and thank you so much for watching. So my acne story. It all starts about a few years ago, I would say. I went on a birth control that was more permanent, so I went on the arm implants. It was called Implanon. I was going off to university and wanted something that would last, and this lasted, I don't remember if it was three or five years. So I got that. I went off to university. I noticed my skin was getting a bit worse than it usually was, because I've always had on and off acne, but I thought it was just because of the way I was eating, uh, I was drinking a lot, but it just continued to get worse and worse. And then I started getting a lot of cystic acne, and it was all like in my cheeks, which if you've looked at the acne mapping pictures, you'll see that on your cheeks is like very hormonal acne. I didn't really know what that meant though, or I didn't know how to solve it, or I didn't think it was related to my birth control at the time. So fast forward, I kept trying to do everything I could to get rid of my acne. I started putting chemicals on it, doing at-home peels. I went and got professional peels. I started derm rolling, but you shouldn't derm roll when you have active acne. I used coconut oil. Don't do that. It's terrible for your skin. Clogs your pores. Really comedogenic. Didn't know that at the time. Turmeric face mask, uh, apple cider vinegar shots in the morning. I cut out meat, dairy, gluten. Um, I changed my diet completely, but I was doing everything I could. I mean, I even cut out coffee for a bit. I love coffee. I tried antibiotics. I went to the dermatologist multiple times. I got topical treatments. Uh, nothing was helping. And at this point, I started getting depressed. I couldn't look at people in the eyes when I talked to them. I started staying in my room at all times. I never went out when people invited me out. Honestly, that was like one of my lower points and it lasted a while too. It wasn't just a quick period in my life, it was years of that. It started getting to me a lot. It took a toll on my personal life, my work life. I was a server at the time in university. Um, and of course, I'm not, I wasn't confident. Um, I could barely even look at people, let alone work with people. I remember I went to the doctors to go get antidepressants and that's when he asked me about my birth control. I told him I was on the arm implant. I actually found out that the arm implant's illegal in Canada because I'm from the US and I came here for university and I couldn't believe it. So he had me go take it out right away and I'm not kidding you, literally the next day and on from that, my mind just became so much clearer. I couldn't believe I was living like that before. I, I just thought that my normal everyday life was this like depressed state, like that just became a part of who I was, so I didn't know that it was because of this one thing. Yeah, so after I got my birth control removed, my skin also started improving, but the thing is, I had a lot of cystic acne, so it was still underneath my skin, and as even though my skin was improving, it still was a huge problem. I still had really bad acne. My doctor wanted me to wait a little bit for my hormones to balance a bit before I went on Accutane, because at that point I hadn't had my period in three years. I had been on different birth controls since I was 15, so I hadn't had a period and then I waited I think it was about like six months to a year six months I think I got my period back and then I waited a few months for it to get normalized and that's when I went back to my doctor after about a year and I asked if I could go on Accutane he said yes so I started it was January of this year I started on Accutane I only I started off really low 20 milligrams and then I worked my way up so I went to 30 milligrams uh, 60, 70, and then I finished on 80 milligrams, and that was for about six to seven months because I just finished in June and I started a little bit before January. I started in December. Yeah, I guess I'll tell you guys a little bit about my Accutane journey and the side effects that I went through. The first month of Accutane, no severe changes. I mean, I was on such a small dosage at the time, too. I think I just like had my inis initial purge. And I'll show all these pictures at the end, by the way. But yeah, I just had my initial purge. Uh, I started getting more dryness in my lips, but overall I didn't really see too much of a difference. 
And then I started getting bumped up, so then I was on 30, and then once I was on 60, that's when I started seeing a lot of changes. So that was around month 3 to 4. When I was on 60 milligrams, and throughout my entire duration of Accutane, uh, the side effects that I saw were eye dryness. Um, I mean, by the end of it, I would wake up and there would be like crust around my eyes. But I just had to consistently use eye drops um, morning and night. And my nostrils also got very dry, which was strange because I've never experienced that in my life before. But it would be like crusty and like gross, and I would have to apply like Aquaphor inside my nostrils at night. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was definitely quite the experience. And my lips, they were super chapped. I mean, chapstick didn't even do the job anymore. I'll get more into the products later, but I had to use Aquaphor on my lips like constantly. And if I forgot chapstick that day or if I forgot Aquaphor, oh, my lips would just be like stinging. My hair got drier, so I didn't have to wash as much, which was good. I did feel pretty lightheaded. Like, if I went to the gym especially, you gotta take it easy. I mean, I was trying to do like the same amount of weight I was doing before, which probably wasn't the best idea, but yeah, just take it easy if you're going to the gym, especially cardio-wise, I think that's what made me the most lightheaded. Uh, it wasn't even the weightlifting, it was mostly cardio. And then sensitive sensitivity to sunlight. I definitely, anytime I went outside, I had to wear a hat, uh, I wore a lot of sunscreen. Yeah, you just get burned very easily, so be careful in the sun. I had some back pain, it wasn't that bad, but overall it went pretty good for me. I mean, I've heard like awful stories about people getting really bad depression, but that didn't happen with me. Uh, I went to see my doctor about every month. I had to get a blood test and then I'd have check-ins, so he was there to monitor my progress throughout the whole journey. Uh, and then that's when he assessed if I could go up in milligrams or not and how I was doing. But overall, it was definitely the best decision I've ever made. I mean, I'm so much more confident now. Like, I can go outside and not wear any makeup and I feel fine. Like, I can look people in the eyes. I've made so many more friends. Like, I just feel so much better, so much more confident, good about myself. And... Yeah, I still want to treat my scars because I do have a bit of redness left, but um, that'll come with time and I hope to continue derma rolling, but I'll tell you about the products and the stuff that I'm doing now and the products that I'm using on Accutane. Sorry if I'm in a slightly different position, my camera died. So now I'm going to move on to the products that kept me sane during Accutane. And I got a lot of these products just by watching different YouTube videos of what other people use during their Accutane experience, so shout out to them, thank you so much, it saved me. Um, I guess I will start off with my holy grail product, probably is still to this day, um, is Aquaphor. This bad boy has been with me through thick and thin, dry and drier. Um, I really gotta hand it to this product, thank you for everything. So I used this on my lips, I used it in my nostrils, I used it all over my body. Anytime I got any like rashes or anything, um, yeah I just put this bad boy on. I always, I didn't have such a big tube at the time, I just threw away my smaller one, but my mom did get me this giant tube when I told her I was going on Accutane. Thank you mom. Um, so I just kept a little tube in my purse and I would just apply it all throughout the day. Um, if I forgot my Aquaphor that day, it was just not a good day. So I definitely recommend Aquaphor because uh, regular chopstick just doesn't really do the job when you're on Accutane. So yeah, definitely recommend. And then to wash my face, I use Cerev Hydrating Cleanser. Um, so this is just a nice, like, simple uh, face wash. And what I would do is I would only wash my face at night. So I'd take off my makeup for the, that I had on during the day, wash my face with this, um, and then uh, in the mornings I would only wash my face with water. So I really tried to be as minimal as possible when I was on Accutane. And then after I used that, I also hydrated with the Cerav Moisturizing Lotion. So at night and in the morning I used this. But sometimes at night when I was super dry, I would use the Cerav Skin Renewing Night Cream. And it's just a thicker, 
moisturizer. So it's more of a cream, which is really nice. That was mostly it for moisturizer and stuff. Um, I would also use rosehip oil sometimes. I mostly just kept with the moisturizer, but I would also use this on top of it sometimes. I still use this to this day. I really recommend rosehip oil. Um, I really like it. It helps with redness, and I just got this on Amazon for pretty cheap, so that was good. And sometimes during the morning, I mean this is mostly what I do now, is I apply Witch Hazel onto my face. Uh, it's mostly just a toner, so if I had any like excess makeup that was on there, or, like any dirt, I just use a cotton ball and I just wipe my face down. And this one's the Unscented Alcohol Free, and I also got that on Amazon. Um, as far as sunscreen, because my face did get really sensitive to the sun while I was on Accutane, um, I used this Neutrogena Sheer Zinc Face Dry Touch Sunscreen, and it's 50 SPF. Um, I'm looking for a better sunscreen, because I'm still using this every morning now, because it's the summer. Um, I'm not in love with it, but it did do the job. It is a bit thick, and it goes on very white, and makes... I don't know. I don't really like it too, too much, but this is what I was using. So those are all the products I was using. Now, I'm still trying to keep my skincare routine at a minimal. So I just finished Accutane about a month ago, and mostly all my side effects are pretty much gone. I think I would say the only thing that's still here is my dry eyes. So I've just been applying eye drops at night and in the morning but it's not as bad as it used to be I mean it's not like crusty in the morning or anything it's just dry eyes I still feel like I can go pretty long without washing my hair but I'm not sure if that's because of the Accutane or if just because I've trained my hair at this point uh, but that's pretty nice but yeah that's that's what's happening now I'm still doing the same skincare routine I switched to Lush Angels on Bare Skin yesterday so I'm gonna see how that goes but I know that my roommate really liked that face wash and I have used it in the past so I'm excited to see what happens with that. Um, but I know that you're supposed to give it some time before you start any scar treatments on your face. But I did start derma rolling last week and I've been waiting forever to derma roll just because I do still have a little bit of redness and definitely some scars left over. So I really just wanna get those taken care of. But for the most part, I'm not I'm no longer afraid to like show my face without makeup. I can run to the store, run to the gym, whatever, without makeup, and I feel I feel fine. I feel so much more confident in my own skin. Honestly, Accutane was probably the best decision I've ever made for myself. Also, when I was on Accutane, I did warn some of my friends uh, that I was on it, especially because I started a new job, so it was easier just telling them I was on Accutane, especially if we went out drinking or something. I said, hey, like, make sure I don't have too many drinks, or just to let you know, like, I'm on Accutane, so I can't really, like, go out, or I can't, like, drink as much as I used to. But yeah, that's basically it. I'm very glad I went on Accutane, and if any of you guys have any questions about, like, makeup I use, or, like, more skincare products, just leave a comment in the the comments down below or subscribe because I definitely want to make more videos about Accutane. I've just been moving around a lot but I want to be posting more. Uh, yeah, this is just the first of many videos. Yeah, I'll post more pictures so you can see it now. Thank you guys so much for watching and please leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you want to see more videos about Accutane or about skincare in general. Have a great day. Bye.